Okay, today's video, we are gonna talk about the warning, Google Ads help in personalized advertising. What this status, particular ad status, actually means and does inside your Google Ads account and how to fix it more importantly. I'll tell you right off the bat, this particular status doesn't generally 90% of the time affect anything as to how much money you can make with your ads if you have this showing up inside your account right now. The reason why that it shows up, the official reason why anyway, it sometimes defies this reason, but it's usually having to do with remarketing audiences. That is, or if you weren't aware of it, you can add remarketing audiences inside your Google Ads account. Think about like search ads. This isn't remarketing. No, you can do remarketing through your search ads. It's just, you have to add them to the audiences of your search campaigns to begin with to do this. And the premise of it is that you can bid more or less based upon if somebody's been to your website before. If they've been to your website before, they're more likely to convert into a customer. Therefore, you would want to, if you're smart anyway, bid higher per click for somebody who's been to your site because the likelihood that they're gonna convert into a customer is higher. Or if that, you know, you can naturally do somebody who's already done business with you, that type of so-called remarketing. And for me, I'm gonna be wanting to bid at least twice as much for somebody who's been to my site before and three times as much for somebody who's already done business with us before. Lock down that consumer because, you know, naturally if they're searching non-brand searches, they're typing in buy red shoes, I wanna make sure I get that customer and at least I'm gonna spend my money on those people before somebody who I have no relate prior relationship with and so you shouldn't be thinking about it as, well, I would've got those that person anyway. Well, if they're searching for big red shoes and you sell those, obviously you don't have that consumer locked down and they're thinking about jumping ship. But with that said, if you so if you have that on and you are in a health niche, dentistry, dermatology, anything like that, drug rehab centers even, you will get this warning to show up basically for sure every time. And that's what it's actually for. Now, so that, that said, it sometimes does show up anyway, accidentally. Google system is frustrating like that, though for the most part, it won't actually usually affect your impressions, whether it's there, or whether it's not there. All it's gonna do is make sure you can't do remarketing on your search ads and that's what it's trying to tell you. You don't have to worry about it either way. Now that said also, the reason why I made this video was to mention that sometimes this can actually affect your impressions on your campaigns, even though it's only supposed to affect the impressions on your remarketing based traffic or for the people that search your keywords that you're bidding on that have been to your site before and are on your remarketing audience that you gave Google ads. With that said, and if it does affect you, what you should obviously do is go ahead and file an appeal with Google Ads to so their appeal system, which you hover over the ad, you can actually file that appeal that way, and through the policy manager, you keep checking the status of whether that approval, that appeal went through or not, or was decided in your favor or not, or has been decided already. If the appeal does not go in your favor, they're saying that you still are violating their policies, even though you are not, which doing any remarketing audience on your campaign, which by the way, if you do have this and you do want to appeal it because your impressions are going down once this is shown up on your ads, you want to not just pause the remarketing audiences, just go ahead and delete them completely, okay? You file your appeal after deleting those remarketing audiences, still shows up and you lost the appeal, then that's the time you want to reach out to the actual support. And that in itself again is frustrating because most people that don't have any clout with Google can't get, you can't call Google, you can't even get on chat support with Google. You can just do it through email and it's slow and you're gonna get somebody from India and it's gonna piss you off, but it's worth doing obviously if you lost your impressions because if you notice physically your impressions went down once this has shown up and it's the cause of it, then you have no choice and, you, and it's worth doing. And on top of that, if you notice your impressions go down, even though you, get that warning taken off because you don't have any actual remarketing audiences on your campaign there, it's probably going to take anywhere from one to 30 days for your impressions to go back the way that they were. Unfortunately, Google system is set up and it, all the ads run off an algorithm now. And Google system, because it's run off an algorithm and machine learning 
they hate changes in your ads. If you make a change to a computer system, what they thought they knew, they don't know anymore, and their default action in that case is to demote you for somebody that they know how the, their ads run and haven't changed recently, or the second most best advertiser in terms of ad, you know, click-through rates and conversion rates on the website or landing page, while they put you back in a test or learning mode, figure out if you really are the top dog still, and then give you the same quality of traffic they had before, and impressions. The impressions going down is even secondary. It's actually even worse when you go back into learning mode, by the way, and your conversion rates go down because they're giving you second second hand, second quality traffic. The person, and just as a side, it's worth it to not just try to do whatever you think it takes minimum to do well with Google Ads, to actually try to crush all your competitors because Google's gonna send the person that they know is most likely to convert to the person that's doing the best in terms of click-through rates and conversion rates in your niche to encourage you to stick around. And the person who's doing the the worst job, they wanna send the worst, most uh, least likely to convert person to them. And they know who's most likely to convert for your keywords because they can see everything a person does before they make that particular search for the last 10 years. And they database that, you know, all the information about that user, who they are, what they've searched for before, what websites they've been on. And because when, think about this, when everybody uses smart bidding and everybody says they want that lead, who's Google gonna send that lead to? They're gonna send it to the person they wanna encourage to stick around that's on their good side. And they can only send that person that they know has 90% statistical significance and likelihood to be a client or customer, so they're gonna send it to the top guy. You know, they do spread out the good quality traffic a little bit, but if you're not in the top 20 percentile in terms of helping their users, and that's measured through click-through rate and conversion rate, well, you are gonna get poor quality traffic that's gonna be hard to monetize at a rate because you're gonna be paying, not only that, uh, getting poorer quality traffic that's least likely likely to convert, you're gonna be paying more per click than the top guy who gets the best traffic, he's gonna be charged the least amount for it on, on top of everything else. So it's gotten to the point with Google Ads nowadays that you either go all the way with it and try to be in that top 20% or you're just wasting your time. Google wants to give everybody a shot with their ads and show that you can do better than the current people that are there on Google now. And if you can't, they're gonna price you out and if you are, they're gonna push the bleeding guy that they used to have as their favorite guy out of the way for you. And to where you, then they just dump the millions on you at that point in time. Obviously you wanna be there. So go, going back to the topic at hand here, if you get back into learning mode and your impressions suddenly drop when this warning shows up, it's gonna take time for you to earn your spot back again. And there's nothing to, to accelerate this other than if you were to temporarily say you're p willing to pay way more for a lead or get way less ROI or jack up your, your bidding in terms of cost per click, like double or triple what it was short term, right away put a, a cattle prod up at Google's ass and get your ads to get back up to the impressions you had before again and look, so it will learn quicker. That's the only option you have. And if you can't take a lower ROI short term to look, have the system get back to where it was with you quicker, then you just have to suffer through it for the 30 days where you're in learning mode, so to say. For the most part, in summary here, if you don't notice anything different about your ads when this warning shows up, you could basically do nothing because it isn't doing anything to you and it's not going to do anything to you in the future. Unless you're just like an anal person where you're like in a car, you see the check engine light on, you're a person that has to deal with it. That, that's kind of like what this is basically. Okay. If it does affect you, go peel the ad, get it to where it will go away and then potentially jack your bids up temporarily to put you right back where you were sooner than later. Also with that said, potentially Google, obviously they're changing all the time. You may wanna get rid of this in case Google does affect your impressions in the future when it's inconvenient where you have your peak season and maybe you get it to go away then by deleting your remarketing audiences in a file for the appeal. That might not also be a bad idea, but in general today that by itself isn't 90 plus percent of the time going to affect the profitability of your ads in terms in terms of impressions and conversion rates. With that said, if you have any questions about what I just covered here, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a question or comment on this channel, usually within 24 hours time. Beyond that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you're serious about making millions of dollars a year with running ads for your business, this is the channel that you want to subscribe to. 
as the information I'm providing you on this channel is coming straight from somebody who spends 40 hours a week doing ad testing on Google, on Facebook, and so on and so forth to give you the premier information that you're going to get here on this channel, which is unique in that 99% of the other ad strategy technique strategizing channels about running ads on Google and so forth is coming from people that are reading you know the documentation that Google Facebook and so forth provide you which are just trying to get you to blow all your money and they don't actually run ads you can't be a good ad strategist without running lots and lots and lots of ads they don't I do therefore you want to listen to this channel first and foremost and you therefore you should subscribe I also got even better information by the way on my blog at guaranteedppc.com slash blog, you can find actual step-by-step -step information that you can apply to your account right away today that we use to actually guarantee results for our clients and, and that are our go-tos for that. Whereas the channel has high-level information about like what to do, what not to do, the, the actual blog is basically the opposite of that where it has step-by-step -step information on how to actual run, actually run strategies at work that you can literally copy and paste into your account with screenshots, with everything. So if you like the channel, you're going to like the blog as well. You should check that out as well. Beyond that as well, you can also, if you want to hire now or in the future, the best ad agency that you can find that, can, that really knows how to get results. This is what we do for clients at our firm. It's our bread and butter. And with that, we're very picky about our clients. But if we take you on as a client and we say we can get you 30% more profitability of your ads up front in the first six months, if we don't deliver on that for you up front, there is no fee. We're the only agency out there that has the balls to even offer anything like that to their clients, which should tell you about the quality of not only the service itself that we provide, but the information we're providing you on this channel that we use to get those guaranteed results. If you want to see if we can work together potentially, reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com. I'll give you a free analysis and see what the potential would be and run some estimates for you and so on and so forth. I'd be more than happy to provide that to you. Beyond that, as a final note, I wanted to mention also, we have ad templates that we've been offering to our viewers here, which are very popular. That is, in the last 10 years running this PPC agency, we've worked in over 100 different niche markets, of which we've worked in your niche market before. Even if you don't like working with ad agencies, you could buy our ad template that we use to get a certain net result for a company in your niche but in a different geographic area take those templates the winning ads the landing pages the campaign templates and copy and paste those into your ad account and get the same results we're getting without having to spend any of the time and money that it took us to figure out how to run that winning version of an ad in your niche market already and get the same results we're getting in a different geographic area in your account right away uh, with that and we can tell you the the results that we're or that we're already getting with that template before you would ever buy it from us in terms of cost per lead or ROI. At the very least, you should just see what results we're getting so you know what you would stand to gain. And if you're spending a bunch of time and money to get something that we've already got for you already. These templates work so good, we got people using these templates to just sell leads even. Plumbing leads, construction leads, whatever, because people in those spaces are always trying to buy leads. They take a template that generates leads at a rock bottom cost. They can flip those leads. It's a great passive income business idea. Or we got people that want to start e-commerce businesses. They're not in any e-commerce. They were smart and they realized the easiest way to do that was to take our template that sell, to sell a known item that we know sells in country A and then start selling it in country B where our client will never be and get turnkey results with it. If you're interested in any of those other opportunities, you can also reach out to us at guaranteedppc.com. With that said, I'll wrap everything up with that though. Thank you very much for watching again, and I'll see you on the next one.